What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and today I have a very special video for you. I've teamed up with Coconut Bra to bring you the top 20 tips and tricks from this recent season Operation Burnt Horizon. Now he's going to do 10 tips and tricks over on his channel and I'm going to do 10 here on mine. So make sure to check out his video, the link will be down in the description. Now these tips and tricks are not in any particular order and just are some of my personal favourites. So without me waiting any longer, let's dive in and check out the first one. So the first of our top 10 tricks guys takes us over onto border and this is located on the first floor in the supply room. Now this is a hiding spot I showed recently and it is an amazing spot to use. I've been using it a ton during Burnt Horizon and I can't wait to use it more during Phantom Sight. Now all you have to do here guys is vault up on the container and you need to break the blue containers on top of the shelf. Now you need to push up the left side of the two blue containers in front of you and you will get a vault prompt up on top of the shelf. Now once you're up there you have an amazing advantage over the enemies, anyone pushing in from detention or anyone coming in the window into supply room. Taking us over onto Coastline for the next trick in our top 10 special. Myself and Coconut spent a lot of time last season looking for different ways up on top of the Coastline roofs. Now this one is right in the front side of the building. You can vault up on the security truck out front and you can actually lie down on the hatch on the roof. You will stand up and you will get a vault prompt up on top of the wooden beams above. Now once you do that you have to immediately vault a second time and you will get up on top of that lower roof. Now this spot allows for a ton of angles into the penthouse and also if you cross over to the other side you can break the window on the main stairs and watch through into luggage. Now not only that you can also run to the front side of that roof and you can also vault into penthouse. You can surprise the enemy and get that early plant in the objective. Moving over onto coastline for my next trick and this was a new angle that I found in the recent season. Now it's located in the police line spawn at the front side of the map. Now this is quite difficult to do and may require some practice but following the guidelines that I have here you should be able to get up into this spot quite easily. Now by standing in the spot right in front of that pot with the tree in it you'll be able to vault up on top of the black truck. Make sure to aim downsides looking at that hook that is on the front of the truck and you'll get a vault prompt up on top of it. Now once you're on top of the black truck, aim towards the right corner roof of the white van in front of you and you will be able to vault over onto it. From there you'll be able to run and jump up on top of the blue shelter. Now from up on top here you have so many options. You can watch some of the top floor angles, but this is really specific to when the bomb site is located down inside the lobby. You have control over all of those windows in piano, the hallway outside bathroom, and the main lobby door. Now I just wanna let you guys know that this does work on both platforms, either console or PC. But if you are having any issues with it or any of the tips and tricks in my videos, be sure to join up on my Discord. The link is down in the description and send me a message.
moving on to the theme park for our next trip guys and a shout out again to IPVM Fails for showing me this spot. Now this is something I did not know about and it blew my mind when he showed it to me. I couldn't believe that this is actually a thing. Located in bunks on the second floor of theme park, you are able to wall bang the turned over metal table in the corner. Now there's actually two small lines going across the table that are actually made of wood, which means you can actually wall bang through this and hit people on the other side. Now you can use this boat ways whether you're on attack and pushing in from cafe you can pre-fire that wall and maybe take out an echo or a maestro who normally sit there as a default spot but you can also use it on defense to try and pre-fire that yellow stairs and take out any enemies pushing up from there. Moving on to the next tip guys and we're over onto Outback and this is a crazy angle that you can use on the second floor party room bomb site. Now all you have to do here guys is reinforce the wall in the very right hand corner, impact the wall above it and what you'll need to do next is run out towards Bull and break open the wall into the games room. Now you will also need to break open the wall looking into showers so from there you can actually go up on top of the bomb inside party room and you'll be able to watch a really long angle the whole way down through games room through the bathroom all the way down into bunks. So this next spot guys takes us over into the bunk beds on the second floor. Now under the bunk bed in the corner of the room, if you shoot out a small hole in the floor, you can actually go down into the reptile hallway below and place a cam up on the ceiling. Now it will go onto the underside of the bunk bed and you'll be able to watch the whole bunk bed, which of course is a high traffic area. A lot of people trying to push in to bunk beds to push towards the objective. So this next trip I'm going to show you guys is a drone spot on Outback. So this drone spot is pretty straightforward guys, it is located on the second floor right next to those barrels on top of the table. Now you just need to jump your drone up on top of the barrels and then get on top of the metal fencing next to it. Now from there you can jump up on top of the wooden beams and from this drone spot you'll be able to watch all of the bottom floor restaurant, the second floor level as well including the area over towards Bull. Now if you do want to take this drone spot further, you can move across the beams and you'll be able to watch all of the main site, the party room and office doorways, including over towards the games room. Moving on to the next one guys and this one is located in the gear store on the first floor. Now this is a really little sneaky one. If you break all the objects inside the container you're able to vault inside of it and if you lay prone making sure that your legs are pointing towards the shelf in front of you you are almost invisible inside the container and catch out any enemy pushing through that room. Moving on over onto Fortress for our next trick guys and this is a Valcam location. Now you just need to go downstairs into the dining room underneath on the first floor and if you shoot the ceiling in between the beams you'll be able to place a Valcam on the underside of the master bed. 
Now, from there, you'll be able to watch the whole bomb site in Commander and in Master Bedroom, and be able to watch for enemies pushing in from Bathroom, Construction Hallway, and of course, the push in from Courtyard. So moving on to the final spot today guys, this one is located on Chalet, now this one is in the trophy room on the first floor. Now I've shown this on the channel a very very long time ago but there's a lot of people who've probably forgotten about it and a lot of new people who've come to the game since then. Now this is a really sneaky spot that you can use whether the bomb site is in trophy or in a different location on the map if anyone is trying to push in from there. Basically all you have to do is lie prone, crawl in under the desk and break the back panels of the desk. Now once you're in there just push over towards the right hand side behind the chair and you are almost invisible in the spot. Now you can actually lean to the left and peek out from the side of the desk almost seeing the window of people pushing into the objective. Now you can also break the panel on the side and it is still very hard for them to see you when they're peeking in the window. So just before I let you go guys, as I've told you in previous videos, I stream over on Twitch every single day. I do PS4 and PC, so if you want to jump in and play with me, follow the link down in the description. Don't forget to go over and check out Coconut's video as well, again the link is down in the description. Now if there is a tip or trick that you have not seen in my video and you haven't seen anywhere and you want to have it shown on the channel, join up on my Discord, the link is also down in the description. I will have another video for you guys in the next couple of days, so make sure to keep a lookout on the channel. Now if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know we upload our next video and as always yeah.